Thanks for joining me to color. Today we are going to be working on this adorable Whimsy Stamps image called Little Sweet Tweeter. Isn't she cute? I will put a link down in the description box to the card kit and all the supplies that I used. I would love for you to come shopping with me. Also make sure to check out while you're over there the clearance section and Heather's closet. I've been cleaning up my closet and putting some gently used or new stuff in there and I actually need to add some more stuff. So make sure to check that out. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, do that. And if you have a question, leave me a comment and I will get back to you. Or you can just say hi, that'd be cool too. So I've already stamped my image on Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. So let's color. Okay, so let's start out by outlining our image. For that, we're going to use B quadruple zero and our colorless blender. I'm going to start with my B quadruple zero and I'm just going to touch down right next to my girl on her all the way around the edge and I'm going to lightly flick out away from her. Go clear down here to the bottom of my chair and then I'm going to bring this color out here into my um, flowers there a little bit and we're just going to do that all the way around the outside. And We'll do this first that way we don't have to worry about scrubbing over with our colorless blender and messing up any of our other colors. And then when I got up here at the top, I kind of brushed a lot along a little bit further up so that it wasn't um, quite such a harsh line right there. And we're going to go clear around her face. And there's a little bit of a space right here where her hair isn't covering, so you want to go in there. And if you do this first, if you get some on her, um, it's easy to fix. Plus, it's so light, if you've got some on there, you wouldn't really notice. Okay, then we're going to do um, our stand here. So let's go around that. And I think I'll go down. It's easier for me to work my way down the pole than up. And then up here for the birdcage, I'm going to go inside the birdcage like three stripes and pull it out like this and then again I want to work my way over the top of the birdcage so I'm going up over the top just a little bit and then same down here on this side of the birdcage I'm going to go about three in and pull out past the edge and then just work my way down to the bottom of my birdcage. Like that. And then I'm going to take my colorless blender and I'm just going to touch down on top of my girl and I'm going to swish it out past all the blue. And this will help if I have any streaks in there, kind of soften it a little bit and soften the edge. And this will work best if your um, colorless blender is full, not empty, or drying out. And work my way up here, along the top, and back down the other side. And this will, you can also remove any you got on stuff if you accidentally did that now. Let's do the ground next. For that, we're going to use W2, 1, and 0. I'm going to start with my W2, and I'm going to come up here and just do a little bit under each of these little um, stools, or the legs on our stool. Bring that in here. I'm going to go all the way across underneath that one. I'm going to go back over this way. 
we're just going to flick a little bit out here. And then for this side, let's do... I'm going to go up a little bit past the edge. I don't want it to stop right here at the very bottom and have one straight line. And a little bit back on this one. And a little bit for this side. Then I'm going to grab um, W1. Let's see if we can get a little closer. W1. And we're going to soften the edge. So I'm just going to touch down on top of my last color. And just lightly go over the edge. Pull it out a little bit. And you can go as far out as you want or as little as you want. And then I'm going to go over that all with um, W0. And then I'm going to go back with my W2 and just add a little bit more of that shadow in underneath a few of these sticks here, or the legs of her stuff. Let's move on to our skin and cheeks next. For that, we're going to use E21, E00, E000. For our cheeks, we're going to use R02, R12, and R11. We're going to start with our E21, and let's go down here and do her little feet first. So I'm going to do right along the bottom of her foot here and underneath of her pants cuff. And it's really small, so I'm just barely touching the end of my pin just to give it a little bit of um, dark in there. And then I'm going to go down each of these cute little toes and along the bottom. And then I'm just going to brush over that with my E00 because there's such a small area that I'm not going to do the last color. So that. And then we're going to go up here and we'll get her arm next. So again, start with your um, E21. And let's do um, brush it a little bit away from her arm here where her sleeve is touching. And then our little armpit. And we're going to go down the edge of her arm, like that. And she's got a little elbow right here, so I'm going to exaggerate that a little bit, like that. And then I'm going to give her, give her a little bit of a wrist right here. So I'm going to dip my pin in. And then let's do a couple of these fingers and along the edges. Next, I'm going to add E00. So let's touch down on top of our E21 and flick out here into our white. And go over this little elbow thing there. And then I'm going to go over all of that with my E000. a second time. So I'm going to grab my E21 again. Lightly go down here. It's kind of light. Let's darken her up just a little bit. And then E00. And then E000. I like that better. So let's go over here and down we'll do her face. So again start with your E21 and I'm just going to go right along the inside of her face down here to her neck and then I'm going to brush on E00. Let's bring this out here just a little bit more. Go around her eye and then I take my E00 and brush over the entire thing. Then I'm going to add a little bit of cheek color, so I'm going to go with RO2. And she's got this little um, half C right here at the front of her cheek, so I'm going to use that as my guide to lay down my RO2. And next is R12. And 
and then R11. Then I'm going to grab E00, and I'm going to go over this section here in the back, because i got a little bit of a line right there still. And then I'm going to brush over the entire thing with my E000. And then if you think that lightened up your cheek a little bit, you could go over it a second time. But I'm kind of liking it like that, so I'm going to leave it that pink. For her hair, let's use E55, 53, and 51. I'm going to start with my E55, and I'm going to do a little dab up here next to where her hat is. And then I'm going to come down this middle little section, and then come along just a little bit on the back of this last strand. And then over here, for this little section here by her hat, I'm going to come next to her hat, just brush down a little bit, and I'm going to come up, up a little bit from the bottom. And then she's got a little bit of her hair showing right back here in the back of her hat. So we're going to brush a few little streaks in there. And it kind of bends right here, so I'm going to do a little dab right there. And then she's got this cute little pigtail out here past her bow. Next I'm going to go with E55. So I'm just going to very lightly add a little bit of that onto that previous color. She doesn't have much hair there, so if you only get to two colors, that's that's okay too. And then I'm going to finish it up with my E51 just by swishing over the entire thing. Then I'm going to go back with my E55 and just darken up the roots just a little bit. Now let's do her shirt, this bow, and this little patch on her pants. For that we're going to use BG13, 32, 11, and 10. I'm going to start with my BG13. Let's do a little bit right here where it's coming out from her collar in the back of her sleeve. And then I want to brush a little bit along the front of her shirt. Oops, I'm going to make a line here first so I don't go out of the lines. That way I can touch down on top of my line and not have to worry about getting quite so close. And I'm going to bring this in here past to this first little, or the second little ruffle. And then over here, we're going to go right next to her arm and pull out here into her shirt. And I'm going to do the first little ruffle there. And then right here, she's got a little wrinkle in her shirt, so I'm going to give it a little dab of color there. Next, I'm going to grab E30, or BG32, and I want to soften that edge. So I'm just adding a little bit more color along that edge and soften it a little bit. And this little wrinkle in her shirt. And I think I'll bring it just a little bit more on this side. Now we're going to add um, BG11. So I'm going to finish up that little section up here. Brush along each of these little sections. And then I'm going to swirl over the whole thing with my BG10. And I didn't worry if I accidentally colored over any of the dots because I can take my colorless blender later and erase that. Next, let's do this little hair bow. So I'm going to start again with my BG13. And I'm going to a little stripe right there in the center. And then same for this bow. And then let's go ahead and do this patch down here too since we already, it's just a little spot. I'm going to do a little bit of my BG13 there on the back. Next I'm going to go with BG32. And I just want to add a little bit of this. And then of course a little bit to our patch. BG11. a little bit to our hair bow, and then we take our BG10 just to go over the whole thing and soften up any lines that I have. Now let's do her pants and her hat. For that we're going to use E43, 42, 41, and 50. I'm going to start with my E43, 
Let's start down here on her pants first. So let's do a little bit of that right here along the front. She's got a little bit of her the back, this the rights are the left side of her pants showing. So I'm just gonna cover this into her pocket. And then I'm gonna go down the inside seam of this jeans. And I'm gonna do a little dab right here above this um, patch. And then I wanna also add a little bit of shadow underneath of her shirt and down by her arm. Like that. And then let's give this little section of pants, this little wrinkle, a little dab of color. And here's a little wrinkle, so let's go ahead and get that in this one. And then I'm going to very lightly, with just a little bit of color, go down the back of her jeans. That. Then I'm going to grab um, E42 next. So let's soften this edge right here, and then we're going to use this color to go along the rest of this side of her pants. And then we want to soften all of this. And I'm going to add a little bit of this shade right here on her pocket. And then we want to come down and soften the edge of all of these. And right here I added a little dab of dark, so let's soften that. I'm going to bring this underneath the pocket a little bit. And then again, let's do this little section like this. Next, I'm going to go with E41. So let's do this, add a little bit more to this one. And then we just want to soften all these lines again. And this little curve I've got going on right here. And then lastly, we'll put E50 and we'll see how it looks. And I'm just going to take my E50 and go clear across her entire pants area. I have a little bit of line right here, so I'm going to grab my E41 one more time. And I'm just going to flick over all these colors and bring it out just a little bit. Add a little bit more dampness to it. And then I take my E51 and go over that edge I just created. And if you wanted them to be darker, you could go over them a second time, but I'm liking how light those are, so I'm gonna leave them like that. So now let's go up here and we'll work on her hat. So I'm gonna grab um, E43 to start, and I wanna go right next to this hat brim first. So we're just gonna go right along the edge that hat brim, and then I want to go around each the little flower here. And then I want this color to come up and come down mm, about three fourths of the way and connect down here. Then we're going to add E42. So we want to brush on top of our 43. And I'm going to bring this color up about a quarter of the way. But we also want to brush on top of this little line we have up here. Next we'll add E41. And again I'm going to go about three-fourths of the way with this color. and then my E50 to go over the entire thing. I got a little bit of a line there still, so I'm gonna grab um, E42, brush right along that edge one more time. And 
and then E41. And then lastly, my E50. Okay, I like that. So now let's do this brim. So again, let's go with E43. And I'm going to go, I'm going to use this along the bottom edge here where it's touching her bangs. I'm going to bring this color down here to this little dip. And then we're going to go down the little dip. And out over here. I'm going to go with E42, and I want to soften this. So let's brush right along here. And we're going to bring this color up because it's so far back here. We're going to color this whole back section in. And I think I'll bring this color up even with the hat band. Then I'm going to go with E41. I'm going to go around that little dot they have there because I'm going to color that with the lightest color. And even though I colored this all in back here, I'm going to swirl over it to soften it up. And then I'm going to color the rest of it in with my E50. And again, I'm going to go with my E42 and just get it wet a little bit, soften it a little bit more. And then E41. And then my E50 just to brush over it a second time. For the hat band, we're going to use Y1915 and YR31. I'm going to start with my Y19, and I'm going to brush that right on the edge, and then I'm going to bring it up, and I'm going to exaggerate this little line right here, and a little dab there, and then I'm going to add Y15. So we'll bring this up even with the hat, and I'm going to bring this color over the top of this little, of the brim. And then my YR31 over the entire area. And I wanted my stripes to be a little bit darker on my hat, so I'm going to grab Y19 again. And then I'm just going to leave it like that. And I'm also going to use my Y19 to cover this little um, center of my flower. And then for the flower, we're going to use R24, 14, and 22. I'm going to start with my R24, and I want to add this right in the center. So I'm just going to use these stripes that are already on here kind of as my guide and go in between those, and then up each one. Kind of exaggerate the lines a little bit when you get to those. And next we'll go with R14. So again, we're just going to go right onto that last color and bring it out just a bit more. And then R22 to fill it in. And I'm trying to be careful. You don't want to touch a bunch of other stuff. I'm going to go back with my R24 the second time and just add some more of that dark back in there. And then I'm just going to leave it like that. And later I added some stickle stardust to that flower to make it sparkly. I'm also going to do these little flowers down here. So I'm going to go with R24 and I'm just going to do a little dab on top of the um, Oh, the bottom of the flower that we're going to color green. So do a line around that. And then I'm going to go with, um, let's bring it a little closer, see if it'll focus, and there we go. And then we'll go with R14. So I'm just going to add a little bit more along the edge. And if you only get two colors in there, that's cool too. 
and then I'm going to fill it in with my R22. This is a pretty small flowers. You can also leave a little bit of white on the end, that would be cute. And then we're going to fill in the um, stems with um, G82. And I didn't do anything fancy, I just swirled my G82 on there and then let it dry a little bit and then I'm going to come back and add a little bit on half of the underside. Let's hop down here and do our stole next. For that we're going to use E39, 15, 13, and 53. And I'm going to start with my E39. And let's do, let's start down here on this little, the bottom of her stool. I'll do a little bit of that, like that, underneath each section, and a little bit under here. And then I'm going to, let's go right along this edge to make it look like it's dark and folding around. And then I'm going to do a little dab right along the bottom of the stool here. I'm trying to be careful not go outside the lines. And then we're going to use this also to add a little bit of shadow around her foot. Add a little dab of color here around her whole foot and underneath of her pants. And we'll go over here like that. Next we're going to go with E15. So make sure to touch down on top of your E39 and just brush a little bit more on there. I'm going to bring this color around the back of her pants there and then I'm just going to softly brush over the edge around her foot and then we're going to add E13 and a little bit more color on the edge leave a little bit of white there for my last color then we're going to brush this color like this, soften all those red lines, and then we're going to take E53 to just brush over the entire stool. Let's do the birdcage next. For that, we're going to use E44, 43, 42, and 41. So let's start with our E44 up here at the top of our cage. And I'm going to add a little dab of this color right in the crack here in the corner. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to have E43. Same thing. Let's just pull that color out a little bit. E42. And then E41 to fill it in. A little bit of a line right here, so I'm going to go over that a couple of times there in the center. Then let's go down here to the bottom and let's do um, E43. Let's work on this little st um, bottom of the cage and this little stick here. So we're going to go with um, E44 first. So let's do a little bit of that in here like this and a little dab over on this side. And then we want it to look like it's kind of wrapping around. So let's go ahead and bring some of this on the side of each of these sides. And then let's do a little dab right here and underneath. The same for this one. We're going to go down the side here and underneath this line. And then down this side. And we're going to go underneath this. And we're going to continue down all the way down to the bottom with our E44 down like 
like so in this little bubble. Same for this side. I'm going to go just a little line right down the side. And this little bubble here at the bottom. And I'm going to bring right here where it dips in a little bit, I'm going to bring my pin in just a tad. Next we're going to go with E44, or sorry, E43. So I'm going to add this color. We'll just continue adding this one right along the same lines we just drew. I just want to soften that edge of that last color a little bit. getting kind of small down in here so I'm trying to keep my my strokes just a little bit smaller. Next we got E42. I'm going to bring that along the bottom section of my cage right here. Same for this side, do under the bottom. And then I'm running out of room, so I'm going to swoosh underneath here and fill that all the way in. And then let's just go down, try to go just down the sides of this and leave a little bit of white just in the middle. And lastly, we'll take E41 to swirl over the entire area. Turn it up here a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take E42 again. Got a little bit of a line here, so I'm going to go down the side of each of these sides of my stick just to get it wet. And then I'll take my E41 again and go over this middle part just to soften that harsh line I got going on. Like that, I like that. Okay, so for the sticks down here, let's grab E44. And let's do a little dab on top of this one. And then right along the seam here, we'll do some. And then this back, the back leg that we can't, it's kind of hidden back here. We'll do that and a little bit in the creek. And then let's do right here in the elbow of this section. And then let's go down the inside of this one. And do a little bit again on the bottom of this part. This. And then this one, let's do a little dab there on top of where it curves over. And then away from the seam. And I'm going to bring this up along the underside of the leg. And next we're going to go with E43. So let's just add a little bit more on here. So let's soften the edge of this. And where it dips in right here, I'm going to add this color. And I'm going to fill in this back one. And the underside of this one. And again, here's a little bend, so I'm going to add some color in there. Next is E42. Soften that edge. Dab on this one, and then our E41 over the entire thing to swoosh it all together and to fill the rest of our white space in. I 
I've got a little bit of a line there, so I'm going to go with my E42 again. Let's get this wet a little bit. And then E41 again to soften it. Let's go up here and he's the little bird sitting on a stick right here. Let's see if we can get a little closer. And then let's start with E44 for that. So I'm going to bring that underneath of his feet. And then I'm going to go with E43 past his wing. And then E42 just to fill it the rest of the way in. Then for the bird, we're going to use B02 and B00. So with my start with my B02, I'm going to do his tail. And then I want to do the back of his head down around this wing and onto his belly. And then the inside of his wing. And then I'm going to take B double, triples or double zero. And I'm just going to go over the entire bird to fill in the rest of the way in. So there is our little sweet tweeter all colored up. Didn't she turn out cute? Love her. And then again, here's the finished card. So I have my card, um, the girl is behind the frame and it's popped up. Then I use some Sticko Stardust on the flowers. And then I use my Spica Glitter Pin and Clear on um, her hair. All the stems for the flowers and then all the lines on the birdcage to give them a little bit of sparkle. And then this little sentiment here is from the Tailored Expressions Mini Minis Occasion Stamp Set. It does not come with the card kit. I stamped this, but it is available in the store if you want to pick that up. There's a lot of cute little um, sentiments in that that will fit on a small area. So I hope you had fun coloring with me today. If you have a question, leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs>